Um, so first, thank you so much. I know you guys are incredibly busy, so thank you for coming. Um, and I would love for you to start off by talking about how you turn your passion into your profession and also a little bit about Together because I know many people may not be as familiar with it. Thank you very much. Thanks uh, uh, all of you to be here with us. Uh, it may be a bit unusual to have the United Nations with you uh, <laughs> in this type of gatherings uh, and I thank you Jessica very much to uh, allow this to happen. So as you can guess from my accent, I'm Italian. I started as an economist and uh, when I finished economics, I was uh, offered the job uh, at Wall Street and the job at the United Nations. Of course, one was appealing uh, uh, from a financial perspective, the other one was uh, a novelty. And I went for novelty. And I have to tell you that I'm happy to these days after many years uh, uh, to uh, have decided to go for the novelty. I have done several things with the United Nations and this is really something I have never tried in my life. I have, I've worked in peace building, I have worked in many countries in the world. Um, and then I, I, I was asked to uh, work as a coordinator of this initiative of the Secretary General of the United Nations. I mean, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, I heard very well what, uh, what was said about the opioid crisis and I, although what I'm going to say is very different, but so many similarities in terms of how you can help us. Uh, um, this Together campaign that was launched by the United Nations has the lofty objective of changing people's mind uh, when it comes to refugees and migrants. And, uh, you know, the whole issue of migration, as you know, is extremely complex. We say that the campaign is to counter xenophobia, but in reality, it's a much, much more uh, a broad type of uh, feelings that people have towards uh, migrants and refugees. There are legitimate fears, uh, fears in terms of uh, security, safety, in terms of uh, economic well-being. So, what we have to try to do with this campaign, if we really want to try to affect the way people think about uh, the issue, is to unpack all those complexities. And uh, um, in terms of what the campaign wants to do, it wants to be global, and it wants to leverage on so many different tools, because we all uh, function and react in different ways. In, may, in my case, it may be a painting. In uh, Mighty's case, it may be something else. And uh, with you, with Jessica's help and Partners Global's help, we are trying to use the lever of a powerful image. Yes, because images really can um, can connect with people. I mean, how many of you in this room have seen something and you were just blown away by it and it's still in your mind? And that's the idea behind these posters that we want you guys, students out there, around the world to create uh, images, visuals that promote a positive representation of migrants and immigrants because we all truly are migrants and immigrants. And there is no reason why we don't make make us a united community. And that's the idea behind this, is that we all are one large community. And another important uh, point is the mayors, is that with these posters, the, there is a group of mayors that Stefania is working with very closely to actually have them agree to produce one of the winning posters in a city. Um, and in a large transit space in a city. So if you could picture Grand Central Station having a poster made by one of you about a positive representation of immigrants and migrants, about uniting communities, or um, for example, the one in Mexico, which if you'd like to speak yes. about, that would be wonderful. But just picture like walking through Times Square on your way to work and there's your poster. I mean, that's a pretty amazing thing. And not only for the cause behind it, but also for you guys. So just, just put that in your mind. <laughs> Yeah, yes. Indeed, we did uh, this little experiment in Mexico. Our colleagues in Mexico City produced uh, a number of images. And then we thought about the parallel between people moving, you know, people on the move to go to work every day, and people that have to move uh, for other reason, reasons, who are forced to move. 
So we looked at the 13th uh, busiest uh, uh, subway stations in Mexico, in three cities. Um, it was Mexico City, Monterrey, and uh, the third now escapes me, but the 13th busiest uh, uh, subway stations. And we exposed those posters and we added to it a, a, a social media campaign. And we, we had quite a bit of noise around it. It moved people. People were stopping and were looking at those posters. So we thought, why don't we go global? While as an organization we are not, you know, a creative organization, and that's why we are here asking for your help, we are an organization that is able to connect with mayors and cities around the world, because after all it is the cities that are managing the issue of migrants and refugees uh, first hand. And uh, when we started going and, knock, uh, and we knocked at several doors of very large cities around the world, we actually got a lot of positive feedback. So we want to be able to go with powerful images, images people will stop and look at. We don't have in mind political you know, type of messages because the campaign wants to be constructive and uh, wants to try to have people think maybe for 10 seconds more about the whole issue. And if we have done that, I think we have done a pretty good job at uh, 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 you know, involving a large number of individuals. Thank you, thank you, Stefania. So, should it only be uh, one poster design that can be displayed in different countries, or you think students should actually create different versions for each country they'd like this poster to be displayed in? Uh, of course, I, I defer to you, Jessica, and the Partners Global, but my, uh, uh, my take is that the issue is very context specific. And an image may work very well in New York and may fall flat in Delhi or in Tokyo. So I, I would think, uh, I would keep in the back of my mind uh, what context I have in mind. And I would think about where, how uh, that, that community perceives the issue of migrants and refugees. Again, uh, if we, I mean, in New York City, uh, uh, people have a completely different attitudes towards foreigners. I mean, after all, I mean, it would be interesting to know in this room how many, how many are Americans and are, how many are not. That, so, that, yes, that would be a very interesting uh, yeah. thing. But there are places uh, that tend to be much more homogeneous uh, and uh, ha may, may have a different type of reaction. So I think the context is indeed uh, an issue. So my take would be possibly more than one, uh, one poster. Okay, wonderful. And are there any specific dimensions? Um, I mean, the idea is that it's going to be a large scale poster, um, but is there any sort of specifics that you could share in terms of the sizing? Okay, again, Jessica, you have to keep in mind that it's not our business. We, we, we are very much... Uh, All right, so just make a big poster. <laughs> I, I, we would like something again, there are so many, there is so much competition out there. When I walk in the street, I probably look at one out of 20 posters. I would like ours to be the one people stops and look at. That, yes. <laughs> so the, the poster needs to be eye-catching, it needs to communicate this idea of refugees and migrants and living together. And it also has to keep in mind the perspective that one city is different than another, but there are elements to it that um, are uniting every city. That it isn't just the migrants or the immigrants here in New York that are separate from the ones that may live in Barcelona. There's still a lot of similarities between the groups.